What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Uh, today I was looking over my Deal Machine app, and uh, uh, one of the questions that I've been getting more and more time and time again, how do you find the owner of an LLC? So this little property here, a little cute puppy, let's see if I can pull it up, a little cute little brick house, uh, this was found using the Deal Machine app. If you don't have Deal Machine for driving for dollars, you must be crazy. If you haven't gotten it, or if you do have it, enter the promo code WOKE, W-O-K-E, for some free deal credits on Deal Machine. Now, back to the case here. We have an LLC that owns this property. So we want to find out how do we look up their phone number and contact them, et cetera. So no matter what state you're in, you have a secretary of state, unless you're in Wyoming. I think that's the only one that you can't get this information. So you would go to your state. So this is Missouri um, secretary of state. You can even go there, business search. It even knows, computer knows everything. So you go to your secretary of state of your state, and then you have to look up and figure out they got all this crap on here, but you don't have to look through your secretary state of your website. If you're in Missouri like me, you just go here to business search, uh, plug in that little name there. Express 44 LLC is the person or persons I'm looking for. And voila, we're looking for Mr. Brian Schroeder. It's only one that came up and you can even go in a little further to get their actual mailing address. Uh, there could be a mailing address to a company or there could be his personal mailing address. I don't know, but this is all public information. You can even go in here and get filings in the state of Missouri, view the documents, and you can pull up their actual articles of organization. Shows all that good stuff there, their address, Deborah and Brian, and then even got their uh, state of Missouri certificate of organization. How about that? So that's all ready to go right there. One moment. All right, we're back. So that'll show you all that beautiful information right there. And so then you just go ahead and take that. You look up Mr. Uh, Brian, what's his name? Schroeder. You take his name. You go to one of the free sites like truepeoplesearch.com. Or you, another way you could do this too, you could have just Googled that LLC and see what came up. You might be able to find them that way. But you want to get try to get that owner. But we know Brian and Deborah Schroeder are the owners of it. So when you come back over here, you go to one of those free sites like truepeoplesearch.com, truepeoplesearch.com. You put his name in. Well, actually, I'm going to have to cheat because uh, I think you have to do it differently. Let's do that like that. And cheat. Uh-oh. And cheat. So I don't have to type anything. Brian Schroeder. I think I switched that around. And uh, they were in Missouri, right? Let's see here. 63301, you put the zip code, that's all you really need over here, 63301, you don't need to type out all that city, state, all that, pop in the zip, and voila, Brian Dean Schroeder, and Brian Susan Schroeder, who is that, is that the girl, a lady, wow, so as you see, they have several things here, you go in, you pull up their information, this is just for training purposes only, you get their phone number, sometimes you get a lot of phone numbers, like all those numbers there, sometimes you get email addresses, Sometimes you get previous addresses so you can cross reference. Sometimes you get other uh, possible associates, possible relatives, possible businesses. They have multiple businesses. Oh, Rent STL. Okay. They got some more properties and some more companies, huh? Okay. So you see, he's a serious real estate investor. So we would contact him, one of these phone numbers, contact him through that mail. Actually, they even have another address. So if you have to send a mail, so if you really wanted to find these people, you can find them. This is just one of the ways, one of the easy ways to figure out who owns this cute little property here? See if we can buy it. Now, who knows if they want to sell and all that. That's a whole other story for another video. But I hope this helps you out. If you want to get more information on cool stuff like this, make sure you join the new Facebook group, Woke Real Estate Investors, talking about real estate and creative deals, subject to things like that. All those goodies are packed in there. And also, don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's all of them, at Chris Monroe STL, and the website for all the forms and everything, and if you want to get connected and say, what, what are you using for this? What, where are you getting your bandit signs, $99 for 100 of them with free shipping? All those links and more are on ChrisMonroeSTL.com.
chrismonroestl.com. So do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me.